Welcome to everyone watching this video today. This video is a revival prayer, a prayer of blessing over the area of Wheelie Castle. And in a moment, we're going to pray for every man, woman and child in this area of Wheelie Castle. So now let us focus our prayers and pray. Dear Lord, we pray for the area of Wheelie Castle within the area of Birmingham. We pray for the population of roughly 22,290 souls. For that every man, woman and child would profess you as their Lord and Saviour. We pray for young and old alike. And we pray for nurseries in this area that children may learn and grow in an environment of protection and safety. We pray for your hand upon this. And we pray for the schools in this area, a multitude of such, and for all those children aged 5 to 18 years of age, that they may have opportunities to learn and grow, to be leaders in society, the home, the family, and the community, and in their respective workplaces. We pray for our working population, that they may appreciate a sensible work and life balance, provide and meet their needs. And we pray for all those of working age, age 16 to 70 years of age. We think of the ill and the infirmed. May they feel your presence and your love around them. And we pray for those that may be carers for either family members, friends, and or community members. We just pray that you will encourage and strengthen each one of them. And we pray for those looking for training, employment and or other opportunities. Show them favour and lavish them with opportunities in abundance. Give them confidence and encourage them. We pray for our surrounding prison populations such as HMP Birmingham in Winston Green and some of the individuals that will come out rehabilitated after serving time. We pray that they may gain a saving knowledge of you in their time of contemplation. Surround these individuals with um, open churches ready to receive and individuals that can carry your gospel into their homes, into their situations. And we pray for all those that serve others in commerce, in education, in healthcare, in retail and in many other sectors. Meet their needs. And we pray for our health workers, our emergency services, our armed services who serve tirelessly in this area around the nation and the nations. Bless them. Bless their families and bless their households. Let them realise and appreciate their true worth as you use them mightily. And we pray for our retired population. We recognise and value their contribution as we aim to build upon their successes. Let us remember them and let us care and seek out any of those that would fall into that uh, bracket. Dispel any levels of loneliness and let us care for our neighbour and let us put ourselves um, below other people's needs. Let us put others before ourselves. And we pray for all those housebound or in residential care. Let us remember and value them with creative forms of engagement and participation. Let us not forget the wisdom and experience of older years, but let us learn and let us grow together. And we pray for all the churches in and around Wheelie Castle. We think of St Gabriel's Wheelie Castle. We think of St Rose of Lima um, down in Wheelie Castle. The United Reformed Community Church in Wheelie Castle. The Wheelie Castle Elim Church, Encounter Church, 
the Eritrean church and all other forms of church experience in and around Wheelie Castle. We pray for them. We pray for their leaders. We pray for their pulpit space that they may preach and teach the gospel effectively. And we pray that they will open their doors and bring in many as they throw out their nets and pull in that catch. We pray for a bountiful catch and we pray for individuals to come around these inquirers and to root them in the gospel, to bring them to a saving knowledge of you as Lord and Saviour and to disciple them and then to equip and send them out to far flung areas of this nation and the nations of the world. And we pray that all those churches will faithfully link with all members of the community with meaningful projects, support and groups in order to infuse, enable and equip all individuals to experience Jesus Christ as Lord and Saviour within their lives. And we stand on the promise in scripture taken directly from Romans chapter 10 verses 13 to 15. For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. How then can they call on the one they have not believed in? And how can they believe in the one of whom they have not heard? And how can they hear without someone preaching to them? And how can they preach unless they are sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who bring good news. Let us stand on that promise and prepare each, of, um, each one of us to go and to tell others. Prepare all to receive and to respond to the gospel message and send revival to this area of Weary Castle and surrounding areas. And let us see the touch of the Holy Spirit as we've seen in past generations. Let it take hold. Let it change households. Let it change men, women and children to become followers of Jesus Christ and let that have a ripple effect in all aspects of society and we pray these things in the name of Jesus expectantly amen and of course if you've watched this video today feel free to comment feel free to like and feel free to share widely with all who would be praying into the area of Weary Castle Weary Castle has had a touch um, in the churches in the past and we hungry we hungrily uh, want more and uh, we pray for more so do share this with intercessors and people that are invested in the area of Weary Castle and beyond so men women and children can be raised and sent from this place and do feel free to subscribe and encourage others to subscribe to this YouTube channel and help us reach many with the gospel message. God bless you all. Amen.